So one of the cool things about the Enduro 3 is it has a kind of a ring around the watch face inside here. I don't know if you can really see it, but anyway, it's a so, like a solar panel or solar cell or whatever you want to call it. But it collects energy from the sun, solar energy, and somehow converts it into assisting the battery or whatever uh, to you know prolong the battery life to get the longer use out of the watch. Well, to see the solar intensity and all that, on the Enduro 3, you can hit the down button or you can hit the, the up button, I guess. And I have that in there as a little feature there. So you can see it shows this stat here, Lux Hours, I guess. Hit that again, Lux Hours are the accumulation of solar intensity throughout your day. Okay. And you can go down and it shows, oh... Okay, cool. So you can see different days. Right on. Well, I'm going to test this out right now here in my home because it is sunny outside. Ooh-wee. So I think what I'm going to do is just set my, my watch here, like, just like this, to collect the the sunlight now there's you know two double pane window here so there's that so i mean whatever but my guess is that the whole principle behind it is you know if you're doing an activity outside and your watch is exposed to sunlight well let me see here i'm at 62 percent okay we'll see in Let's see, 9.35, I'll come back in an hour at 10.35 and see what percentage the uh, battery's at. All right. Set it right here. Should be collecting that. Just see. Uh, well, there we go. Here we go. Okay, come back in an hour, I guess. All right, let's see how this is here. All right, it's still there. Been getting some really good sun for a little bit over an hour. Now let's see. First of all, let's see the battery percentage. 62! Well, that didn't change anything. Sixty-three percent. Alright. That's something. Let's check the uh solar intensity or what have you. Temperature 111, yeah, because it's in the sun. Hmm, I don't know what that means. How can it get any more intense than actually just right at the sun? But maybe because of the time of day. So now, that's two hours. Now I'm going to set it right here. I'm going to come check it in half an hour. As I want the, um, I want it to get maximum. But as you can see, there's a tree right there, so it won't do any good once it gets there. So I'm going to come back in half an hour and see see where it's at. Let's give it another check. Let's check it. It was at 63%, I believe, earlier. Let's see where we're at. 63 still. Okay. Good. Set it back up. All right. It is... 1254 sun is behind there <clears throat> i'm gonna stop this uh this will be the this will be it for solar recording here whatever we're uh figuring out the solar stuff so let's see here it's at 63 percent hasn't really changed i feel like in a real world application um you know the fact that in a little over two hours in direct sunlight it went up 1%, I believe. You know, I mean, what, what does that mean? That means that, you know, if you go on a hike or a run or something where you're wearing this watch exposed to sunlight, that it's going to somehow, I mean, it's got to be two hours or so for it to even be 1%, you know? 
that seems like kind of kind of piddling. Although I will say, when if you're going on, let's say, a road trip, um, in my case, I like to go up to northern Minnesota. Let's say I kept it on the on the dash, you know, get the uh, get it up, you know, the the battery life uh, augmented like that, and because why not? You know, I'm not wearing it for any real reason. Driving, I don't need to keep track of anything. So, you know, I think that it is an opportunity charging type deal where, you know, obviously if you're out on a mountaintop in Spain or something and you're on a hike, then yeah, you know, you're going to get optimal sunlight if it's a sunny day. Aside from that, I don't really see the real... I don't see the benefit of taking the watch off, aiming it at the sun in the middle of the day, obviously, because it doesn't work at night. And then, you know, just letting it sit there like I did here in the window when I could be wearing it. But I think that maybe if you're on an airplane or, you know, if you're driving somewhere and it's sunny out, maybe that's a good opportunity when you really don't need the watch. But aside from that, it seems like the solar... Charging capability isn't so much about charging, it's about like regenerating or augmenting the battery life. So, there you go. Thanks for watching.